Let's take a look at how to properly read a graduated cylinder. Here I focused in on a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. Uh, you want to keep in mind that you always want to look eye level with the, uh, the graduated cylinder when you're reading it. That means you might have to squat down to make sure that you see it properly, but you have to see it properly nonetheless. So here we are. First thing we're going to do is take a look at the first digit. So we are between 8 and 9. So the liquid level, you can see the little meniscus, the little dip, is between 8 and 9. So because we are between 8 and 9, we would read this as 8 milliliters. We know that there's 8 milliliters, no, no more, so we would, our first number would be 8. Second, we count up from the bottom, uh, 8.1, 8.2, 3, 4, 5, that's the large hash, 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8. So we know it's between 8.8 .8 and 8.9, so that would be the second number. So 8.8, .8. and then finally, it's between 8.8 .8 and 8.9. We have to guess that last one. That's the important thing. You have to guess that last one. So I would read this as 8.85. It's about 50% of the way between 8.8 .8 and 8.9. Here I have a second one. This is a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. This is typically what you would be looking at in lab. You're going to have to be able to discern the bottom of the meniscus, which is the curve in the solution, in this case, in, in the water that I have. So you can always place a card behind the uh, graduated cylinder so it's a little bit easier to read. Okay, so I would read this. Well, it's between 50 and 60, so the first number would be 5 in the tenth place. And then I would count up 51, 52. It's between 50. 52 and 53, so that would be the second number, 52 milliliters. And then finally, I have to guess that last spot. It looks like it's just below 53, so I would read this as 52.8, 52.9. Either of those readings would be fine, and of course, we would tack a unit on milliliters. So 52.8 milliliters, and that's the reading. How would you read this one? What reading do you get for this one? What reading do you get for this one? Finally, what reading do you get for this one?